Ronaldo predicted six players would become big stars, but so far only two have lived up to his expectations. Today, let's explore the names Cristiano Ronaldo predicted would become major stars back in 2017. Do you remember that time when Ronaldo was at the peak of his career, scoring goals non-stop and winning every major title? During an interview back then, when asked who could succeed him as the best player in the world, he mentioned six names. Let's see if Ronaldo's predictions were accurate. First, Cristiano Ronaldo mentioned Marco Asensio, his teammate at Real Madrid at the time. Asensio, then 21, had made a strong impression at Santiago Bernabeu and became the fourth youngest player to score in a Champions League final in 2017. However, the Spanish midfielder's career didn't go as smoothly as expected. One of the main reasons Marco Asensio couldn't become a big star was due to injuries, most notably an anterior cruciate ligament injury in 2019 that sidelined him for over a year. This injury not only reduced his speed and agility, but also significantly affected his mentality and performance. After Ronaldo left Real Madrid, Asensio struggled to maintain consistent form and often missed matches. This led to him losing his place in the starting lineup under new coach Carlo Ancelotti. Eventually, when his contract with Real Madrid expired in 2023, Asensio moved to Paris Saint-Germain on a free transfer. His first season at PSG was also not very smooth. Muscle and foot injuries kept him out for quite a while. Although he made 31 appearances for PSG, half of them were from the bench. This inconsistency also led to him being left out of Spain's squad for Euro 2024. While there is still hope that he can return to top form if he reaches his best physical condition, it's clear that the Asensio Ronaldo once had high hopes for is no longer the same. Next, we can't forget to mention Kylian Mbappe, whom Ronaldo predicted would become a big star, and unlike Asensio, this prediction has been spot on. Mbappe shone brightly just a year later at the 2018 World Cup, helping France win the championship and becoming one of the best players in the world. Notably, at the 2022 World Cup, the player born in 1998 scored a hat-trick in the final, becoming the first player to do so since 1966, although France lost to Argentina in the penalty shootout. This summer, one of the most anticipated transfers in football took place when Kylian Mbappe joined Real Madrid. Moving to Los Blancos was a dream come true for the French forward, who had idolized Cristiano Ronaldo since childhood. At the Royal Club, Mbappe will team up with Vinicius Jr. and Jude Bellingham to form a formidable attacking trio that will strike fear into any defense. Looking at Mbappe's journey, it's clear that he is following a similar path to his idol Ronaldo. Both shone brightly at a young age, won major titles, and then moved to Real Madrid at the peak of their careers. The similarities in their debut can be clearly seen. Kylian Mbappe is currently one of the most valuable players in the world, with a huge salary and significant influence on both his club and national team. His career promises to continue developing and bringing many exciting surprises in the future, just as Ronaldo did throughout his illustrious career. Another name Ronaldo mentioned was Usman Dembele. At that time, Dembele was performing brilliantly in the Bundesliga with Dortmund during the 2016-2017 season. The French player scored 10 goals and provided 21 assists in 49 appearances across all competitions. Dembele's excellent form prompted Barcelona to spend 135 million euros to bring him to Camp Nou in 2017. However, injuries and inconsistent performances hindered Dembele's career. In his first season at Barca, Dembele only made 24 appearances, playing 1,220 minutes, contributing four goals and nine assists. Do you think Dembele made the right decision by leaving Barcelona and joining PSG? No. Last season, he showed some improvement but didn't leave any significant mark for the French national team at Euro 2024. Have you ever wondered how Neymar, the player Barcelona bought Dembele to replace, is doing? Neymar was once part of the best attacking trio with Messi and Suarez, but since moving to PSG, his career has faced many ups and downs. 
Essentially, Neymar has had a relatively successful career at PSG, although not without controversies and challenges. The Brazilian player has won many domestic titles with PSG, including League One Championships, the French Cup, and the French League Cup. However, what fans needed most from Neymar was to shine in the Champions League and help the team claim their first European crown, which he failed to do. His injuries often occurred during the Champions League knockout stages, preventing him from contributing much. Instead, his birthday in February, which is close to the knockout stages, often saw him partying all night with friends. His best achievement was being a runner-up in the 2019-2020 season after losing 1-0 to Bayern Munich in the final. Do you think Neymar's decision to leave Europe and join Al-Hilal last year was a step back? Some even say Neymar's career is coming to an end. Another name Ronaldo had high hopes for was Eden Hazard. The Belgian forward was a standout when he moved to Real Madrid in 2019, carrying great expectations from both experts and fans. Before that, Hazard had made a name for himself at Chelsea, where he won many titles and was considered one of the best players in the world. He played a significant role in helping Chelsea win the Premier League and Europa League, as well as leading the Belgian national team to the semi-finals of the 2018 World Cup. With his impressive form, Hazard was expected to be a worthy successor to Cristiano Ronaldo at Real Madrid. However, Hazard's career at Real Madrid quickly turned into a nightmare. Persistent injuries were one of the main reasons he couldn't play regularly and maintain top form. During his four years at Real Madrid, Hazard only made 54 appearances and scored just five goals, a number far below expectations. Severe injuries like a broken ankle and muscle problems disrupted his career preventing Hazard from achieving stability and confidence on the pitch. The pressure of replacing Ronaldo, along with the harsh environment at Real Madrid, also contributed to Hazard's struggles. Every mistake was scrutinized, and the competition within the squad was fierce. Staying at Chelsea might have spared Hazard from many injuries and pressures he faced at Real Madrid. Chelsea was a place where Hazard had long been successful, a more familiar environment compared to the harshness at Bernabeu. Finally, we have Marcus Rashford, one of Manchester United's brightest young talents, who has had a tumultuous career journey. From a very young age, Rashford impressed with his goal-scoring ability and incredible speed. He quickly became a rising star for the Red Devils. During his return to Old Trafford, Cristiano Ronaldo mentioned Rashford with high hopes, seeing him as a potential successor. However, continuous injuries disrupted his development preventing him from maintaining consistent form. Despite this, the 2022-2023 season witnessed Rashford's impressive comeback. He scored a total of 30 goals across all competitions, a personal record, and earned the Sir Matt Busby Player of the Year award. This resurgence did not last long. The young talent Alejandro Garnacho emerged and took a spot in the starting lineup, forcing Rashford to face fierce competition. This not only affected his position at the club, but also led to his exclusion from the England squad for Euro 2024. While form can be regained, time waits for no one. Rashford needs to maintain relentless effort to re-establish his name in English football. Seizing every opportunity to regain his form and prove that he still deserves the expectations that Ronaldo and fans had for him from the beginning. So what do you think? How accurate were Ronaldo's predictions? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel to not miss any new videos. See you in the next video.